so it is a beautiful day in coastal Carolinas. I think we're gonna go spend some time at the beach. But before we head out, I want to get us set up for Porkapalooza. What I'm saying is uh, I buy these pork packs from John at America's Choice Gourmet and I have three people in my family so sometimes there's things like these uh, wonderful porterhouse thick super thick pork chops they come in a pack of four so we only did three when we cooked that meal so I kind of got some oddball stuff I've got that and I've got this beautiful look at the fat in that pork tenderloin and I'm gonna throw those in the sous vide at about 146 degrees for a nice medium rare to medium. Uh, just gonna let them sit in there while we go to the beach. And when we come back, we'll fire up the grill. Also, as an appetizer for our pork palooza day, is my wife is going to make pulled pork egg rolls. She's gonna wrap some pulled pork that we have left over up into some egg roll wraps deep prime for us that's gonna be the appetizer oh yeah I'm definitely starting to get excited about that so you can see we've got our CV we're up to 147 so it, it should regulate at 146 147 uh, for the next several hours <coughs> got our vacuum sealed pork chop and loin in there you'll notice too I've got my water really close to the maximum line and the reason I do that is because I don't have a cover on this pot, you know, a lot of times I use a larger tote uh, to sous vide my uh, meals in, but uh, all we need for this is just a small pot, but I'm gonna be leaving it alone for several hours and I don't want uh, too much evaporation, so, or I can allow for evaporation by getting close to the maximum line. So if you get yourself a sous vide machine like this, you'll notice that there is a minimum and maximum water level. You wanna make sure you stay between that range but uh, if you're worried about evaporation, you can see some already starting to happen a little bit. Make sure you're close to that max. Okay, so my wife has started. Uh, she has made these wonderful egg rolls here. Pork, pork barbecue. We're using these wraps, a little wash, and Look at that pulled pork. Oh, it is so perfectly ready. So she set our station up here. And I'm gonna wrap a couple myself and then we're gonna get that deep fryer going and get that golden goodness ready. Okay. So what you do here for our appetizers, our pulled pork egg rolls, is you pull your wrap out. You set it diagonally. Go ahead and get you some of that wonderful pulled pork and you start packing it in the shape that you like and the size that you like. Dab a little bit of wash and you start washing your corners. And you tuck it just like a baby. Right there, get that. Put your corners in and roll it. Okay, as you can see, we went to the beach today. Our pork chop and our tenderloin is finished up in the sous vide. We're at actually almost seven hours. So it will definitely be cooked uh, to our desired temperature, which was 146, 147 degrees. Uh, be curious to see what the texture is supposed to be because typically one to four hours is really all you need. But uh, anyway, we're working on making our appetizers now. You can see I got out to the beach, got a little sun. So we got a little burn and buzz. That's what we do when we go to the beach. So gonna continue to make our appetizers here. Get ready to grill those porks up. And oh man, it's good living. Okay. So we've got our beautiful, beautiful pork chop here. We've got our beautiful tenderloin. They've been in the sous vide actually for seven hours. Wasn't sure how the 
consistency of the meat was, but it's actually held up perfectly. So recommended is one to four hours. Uh, we went seven because, well, if you can't see the burn on my face, we were at the beach, but it turned out really nice. So anyway, I'm gonna do two styles here. Like I said, it's porcapalooza. So we're definitely gonna do some salt, some pepper, a little paprika, and then I'm gonna do a little brown sugar and good old maple syrup on the pork chop because I like, love the sweet and salty contrast on a thick cut pork chop. We're gonna slice that up and share it for the family. Now on the tenderloin, we're gonna go a little onion powder, a little rosemary, a little Italian seasoning, and on both, of course, a little Irish butter. So I'm gonna go out shortly. I'm gonna season these up, get them ready. We're gonna go out, fire up the grill, get it ready. My wife is finishing up the egg rolls and, oh yeah, porcapalooza. Okay, so you can see our pulled pork appetizers are looking spectacular. We've got some already fried. Got some more frying. I'm ready to go in the fryer. And now we have our entree ready to go on the grill. So remember, this pork chop and this tenderloin are already cooked perfectly. All we need to do here is just sear in that wonderful flavor and juice. So I've got the grill piping hot and we've got our wonderful super thick pork chop glazed with brown sugar and maple syrup and we're just going to glaze that up. We've got our Italian seasoned tenderloin and we're just going to sear that up. So really it's not going to take long. We're just searing them. It's going to be so good. Okay, so like I said, they were already cooked perfectly in the sous vide, so they were the perfect temperature, medium to medium, uh, medium rare. So we're gonna go ahead and start just slicing these. And like I said, we're gonna cook, we're gonna serve these up, almost kind of like appetizer style. I'm just gonna cut these into medallions. I'm gonna share them. We have a nice, uh, just green salad. And we've got those pork egg rolls as an appetizer. And now, look at that. That is beautiful. So, let's give the tenderloin a try. Mmm. It's so moist. The texture is perfect. And the Italian seasoning is, oh wow, that's incredible. This would be a perfect meal. Now, the maple glazed brown sugar pork chop. Oh, look at that. Mmm. It's so good. All right, so I'm gonna finish slicing this up and I will show you here in just a second how those egg rolls turned out. Okay, so we got our red hot thick sauce buffalo and barbecue, which is the perfect thing to dip our barbecue egg rolls. Mm. Mm. Holy smokes, that's good. So the sauce, pork barbecue, and actually my wife added a little Gruyere cheese uh, to some of them. Mm. Tenderloin. Mm. Oh, it'll smack your mama. Make you want to smack your mama. It's so good. Anyway, thanks again, John, America's Choice Gourmet, for uh, providing us with the pork. 
And uh, man, Porkapalooza. It was a good day. Great day at the beach, great day putting food together. Enjoyed cooking with my family. My wife and I got to bond a little bit, making some egg rolls. Good stuff. Anyway, keep watching, like and share.